Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. Today we're going to look at my plant collection. So I collected quite a few during the pandemic, but I already do have some even before. So before we start, I just want to remind you that I am not an expert. I don't know some of the scientific names, especially for succulents. I don't know their name one by one. So if my, I made an error, you can just comment and correct me down below. Thank you. So let's start with this group over here. We have a yucca cane variegated in the middle. I got this from the Salisbury Greenhouse. It's quite nice. So if you see at the background, there's a small plants that co that's coming in. There's leaves, baby plants. And then we have here my aloe vera. I got this during the quarantine too. And we have a uh, kalankowi, an orange kalankowi here. It's quite cute. Got this for Mama Mary. So this is a succulent mini garden. This is not mine, this is my daughter's. It's pretty cute. I don't know the name of the succulents, so don't expect me to name them one by one. And this is our center table. We start with this one. I made all of them, all of the succulent mini gardens. This is a Chinese uh, succulent garden. What I know is that the middle plant is a zebra plant. And this one I made on September 8th for Mama Mary's birthday. And this is a philodendron Brazil, which I got from Greenland Garden. This one is a, a gift from my sisters in the Philippines. It's a um, Philodendron Birkin. This is uh, a rare plant. It's very nice. I love it. And this one is a type of succulent too. I think this is called uh, Kalankowi Flapjack. So I bought some photos recently at the Greenland Gardens. This is, I don't even have pots for them. So this is a uh, pearl and jade photos. Let's get them. It's quite nice. It's still a baby. And the other one is a queen marble. It's a kind of photo stone and it's still a baby. And I bought it from Greenland Gardens too. So here's my first plant stand. So I'm very proud to tell you that the plant stand was made by my husband. Let's start with my Monstera Deliciosa. 
got this at the Greenland Gardens. I love it so much. There's always a baby. If you look at it, there's several. Several babies. And this one is a philodendron. It's a red Congo. And it's quite big. I love it too. And got it from Greenland Gardens too. And there's some babies too that's sprouting right there. And this one is a begonia rex. have here a peperomia of stufolia if I'm not mistaken I don't remember and this one this is a uh, oxalis triangularis and it's ebony allure it's still very small I got this from botanical I ordered it online. This one is a kind of evergreen. It's a Lady Valentine. I love it because it's pink and the foliage it's pink. And this one is a Monstera Adonsoni Eye. It's still quite small, so I will see it grow. I hope I don't kill it. This is also called a Swiss cheese plant because of the holes on the leaves. And I've got here at the bottom a Never Never plant. This was given to me by my friend. a difficult time. I hope he survives. And we have a purple anturium. This is the first time I've seen a purple one. I got this from Home Depot. And we have a rubber plant. Vicus tenike. A variegated rubber plant. I got this online from Botanifold too. I love the variegation. Hopefully there would be more variegation as it grows up. It grows tall. And there's babies too as you can see. And this one is a hibiscus. Type is, I think it's fire wind. The only thing with this plant is the flower, the flower grows just for an overnight or 24 hours, and the flower wilts right away and falls down. But it's so beautiful. And we have here a wandering dude, a wandering Jew. Or a nanook. I got this very small but now as you can see it grew so big and it has lots of baby leaves. It's so nice. This is one of my favorites. And I have another anthurium. A red anthurium or what they call a flamingo plant. This is the common um, anturium that I see all the time. And I have here a mini rose. It's an orange one. An orange or a yellow? I don't remember. It's 
so I don't know when it will flower again. I hope it survives the winter. And this one is a Golium Jade. It's very nice. And this one is a Peperomia. And it's called a Napoli Night Peperomia. I love the spikes. So nice. And this one is an African mask. Look at the veins, it's so nice. I got a sticky over there because there were some knots. I have to change the soil and spray it with a mixture of neem oil, few drops of detergent, and a liter of water. It good because there's no more nuts. If you see, it's uh, just one or two. And I got here a prayer plant. I think it's called the Maranta, but uh, it's still quite small. And I got it online. I hope it survives too. It's not looking good. It's drying up. And this one is a Peperomia variegated. It's a Peperomia abstifolia too. But it's variegated. It's very beautiful. And this one is a Bambino. A Bambino or a Fiddle leaf fig. A small one and it's really great. This is one of the few plants that I got during the pandemic like two months ago. FLG FLF and at the bottom is an Arabian jasmine. Or Sampadita. They call it Sampadita in the Philippines. It's their national flower. I don't know when it will flower again. I know it becomes dormant in the winter. I still have to research on what to do so that it will flower again. And what we have here is a pilia or a coin plant. This grew so much too. This is one of the first plants that I bought during the quarantine. It's very nice. And there's a never never plant. Again, it's growing big. And I have an African violet. The flower is almost two months now. It's quite beautiful. And we have... This is quite cute. A mini succulent garden. Which I made too. And we have here a calithea, a big calithea that was, this is an early gift from my daughter for my birthday. It's very nice. I hope I don't kill it because it's a bit expensive. It's a Calithea White Star. And at the back, you can see. Very nice, right? So on the other side, this is what we have. This is 
a money tree given to me by my daughter too maybe four years ago it was just so small it's a grocery plant and now look at it it's so big it's very nice and there's lots of babies too I just transferred it here it used to be on the window but uh, the leaves always falls dries up it's very nice and now look at it it's so nice and this one is a spider plant this was given to me by my friend it was so small before and now look at it I have to put it up because it's beside the door and when we go out at the back we always cut it off or pump it it looks good it looks like a fountain I have given a lot of babies already to my friend so I don't know I, I need to repot this one it's on a small pot so it will grow bigger and I have a Hoya Hoya Bella at the bottom this was given to me by my co-worker my friend more stems and I have I don't know if it, this is a Cebu blue or just an ordinary golden photos but look at the leaves I think it's a mixture this was given to me by my friend Priya Dudes have this area this is my old plants or the plants before COVID-19 I have here another mini succulent garden the only plant I know here is the Colium G so don't ask me what plants are here plant this used to be very small but now look at it grew so big I broke the original glass I transferred it here and it grows so fast and this one is another holy plant given to me by my friend Masi And this one, I forgot who gave it to me. But this is a uh, photo too. A golden photo. Golden photos plant. It's very big now. It's very nice. I'm planning to uh, put it on the hanging pot. So I can go there. And this one is an English ivy. I forgot what it is. This used to be very small too, but now look at it. There's lots of vines. And this one, this orchid, I forgot the scientific name, but it's a common one. This is the third time that it bloomed. I got this when I was sick in November of 2018. My friend uh, Malu gave this to me and it's her third time to bloom. Look at the flowers, it's so nice. And this one was given to me by my friend Malu too. 
cute. This one, I gave it to her as a souvenir on my 20th wedding anniversary. And she got it so big and she got one of them for me. Because I don't have any souvenir from my 20th. 20 This one I think is a uh, crawling jade. It's been with me for about two, three years, but it's not looking good. But uh, at least it's alive. And I have here a zebra. Maybe it's around three years already. It grew so big, and uh, this was given to me by my friend on my birthday. I think if I'm not mistaken it was just so small and now uh, it's a zebra plant too and this one is a neon photos this one is new got it from Home Depot I love the color I'm planning to put it on a hanging pot too so the stems will grow longer and this one one of my dying plants. It's a uh, orchid plant too. This one is uh, maybe about seven, seven years. This was given to me by my boss. I'm planning to revive it. I just need the materials to revive it. And this one is another uh, mini. one is my Dracaena. It has been with me so maybe about four years. It used to be so small. As you can see, it grew so big now. I have to repot because I haven't repotted this since uh, 2016. But it's so big. And this one is my ZZ plant. So I forgot about this plant. This plant is also a mini supplement garden. So I got the cart from the dollar store. So I thought why not make it into a pot. Just put in some cinnamon and plastic wrap inside. And I have here golden photos tea too. This used to be uh, 
bubble tea containers that I got from the Edmonton Festival when I got it was. So I put this plant in our RV during the summer. It has been two years since it's there. Look at the roots. I just cut them. And this one is another uh, succulent garden that I've designed. They used to be, the plants used to be very small and now look at them. They're growing so big. And I have a few cuttings here also. This is a Monstera cutting, Monstera deliciosa. They don't have roots yet because I just cut them recently. And this is Aprilia that I cut to. I hope it, uh, I don't know if it will grow roots from just the leaves. Cuttings. I have another spider plant cuttings that I can put or give away to my friends and I do have an umbrella plant cuttings here too my husband got it from my friend I don't know if it will grow roots let's just try I rearranged it because uh, the Kalankowi that was in it died already. I'm doing a uh, succulent propagation too. So look at it. It's been uh, two or three weeks. Some of them are since already in 